Hello, everybody, and uh, I am coming to you from uh, Cuernavaca. Vada? Cuern I, I don't know. I, I don't know where I am anymore. Cuernavaca is uh, known as the city of eternal spring because it's always warm here. It's like it's supposed to be beautiful temperature all the time. And because of that, some things grow here that don't grow in other places. So that's why I came here. Um, haven't found anything like really like knock my socks off, but uh, today I want to talk about avocados. I have two avocados with me that uh, I don't know what they are <laughs> uh, whatsoever, but they look different than your typical Haas avocado or you know the Florida avocado or any, uh, any of the other kinds of avocados that I've had. Now, first off, we've got this one. You see, it is like a light brown on the outside. I am not sure entirely if this is a different variety, different species, or if it is just a Haas avocado that has dried out for some reason. But this is how they were sold. This, this was sold, like a whole pile of these, like were sold in this state, as well as ones that were just, you know, dark without like this kind of like color to it, and ones that were green, all next to each other. So, if anything, it is like a different ripeness <laughs> than I am used to. Um, but what's interesting, uh, you know, he had one of these cut open to show the inside, you know, so you know that you're not buying rotten fruit. Because what's interesting about it is that it is perfect inside. It's perfectly green, even though it looks like garbage on the outside, it looks like it's like a rotten avocado, it's perfect on the inside. This one I got here in uh, Cuernavaca. This one I actually got in Mexico City uh, yesterday. Uh, yeah, completely smooth, which is interesting. Smooth, silky. Uh, yeah, I've never seen an avocado quite like this. I mean, it, it's got the smoothness of like a Florida avocado, but obviously it's black on the outside. So I'm not sure what this is going to be like. And that cut really, really soft, by the way. There you go. Uh, huh, it's kind of like a little white on the inside. A very large white seed, or I guess it's just covered with some pulp. Uh, very white flesh compared to this one, which has got a little orange tinge to it. This one looks a little dry. This one looks a little juicy. Fun times. First off, I'm gonna try the brownish one. It's got a relatively firm texture. That is like butter. That is like really, really super creamy. But it has a lot of flavor to it too. And a lot of people who say that they don't like avocados, I used to be one of them <laughs> before I was enlightened. Um, they don't like them because they are flavorless. They're just kind of like fatty tasting. This one has flavor, a lot of flavor to it. And the, uh, the texture to it is like, it's like cheesecake, very smooth. That's really good. Um, no sweetness to it. I mean, if this is a Haas avocado, it is a very, very good Haas avocado, which it might be. Um, okay, so next we have the uh, the dark one. The texture on this one is actually like, it's almost like a little slippery, if that makes sense. I don't know if you can see it in there, but you see it's, like, it's kind of like wet in there. I, th I said earlier that it was dry, but maybe it is actually juicy, but it doesn't seem juicy, it just kind of like seems like almost like a little like oily or something. Hmm. The flavor that this one has is uh, much, much stronger than this one. This one is very mild, but it's also fattier. It tastes like oily. It tastes like something that you can like spread on toast in place of butter. It's very, very buttery, but uh, mild. So you're just getting kind of like fat taste without like a whole lot of avocado taste. It's like milky tasting also. It's like greasy and milky. Not in a bad way, but it feels like eating this at like with a spoon is a little too rich for me. You know, with the uh, the brown one, you can sit down and eat this with a spoon, just like, I mean, it's heavy, but it's delicious. 
This one, it seems like it's too much. It's like eating butter. I think like this is a really, really good thing to use if you were to put it like in uh, a taco <laughs> or if you want to like make avocado toast like everybody seems to be doing these days. This would be a good one for that. This is a good replacement for butter for vegans. So, uh, fun fact about this, uh, so I posted this online trying to find like the identity for this one uh, after I filmed everything else for this for this video, that's why they're kind of like injecting this here. But uh, the skin on this thing is edible. Somebody said it's edible. So most avocados you can't eat the skin, this one you can. So uh, I'm going to do that. And also by the way, this is uh, a Mexican avocado. It's, it's a special species of avocado that is um, commonly eaten throughout Mexico. The skin has a flavor to it that reminds me of bacon. It's kind of like savory and smoky tasting. Maybe a little bit like aniseed as well. Weird. Yeah, I can see why people would want to eat this. It gives like a different flavor to it. There's nothing objectionable to it. It's very, very thin. Like you can see as I peel that off, just like how thin that is. It's like paper thin. But this has, um, it has a different taste to it. So I can see that as a matter of preference, like what you're using this for. If you want to add like a little smoky um, aniseed flavor to whatever you're making, uh, that would do it. There's a reason to use that. It'd be like add a little additional spice to it. I can see a reason to leave the skins on, and I can see a reason to take them off, depending on what you're using the uh, the avocado for. Still quite good. I would see these both being very useful avocados for different purposes. Yeah. Well, what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to put them in a taco right now for dinner. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get on with that, guys, and I hope you enjoyed watching me eat two new avocados. Bye, guys. Hey, so at the end of this video, there's going to be a preview of next week's fruit, so stay tuned for that. But first, business! I want to give a shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. Patreon is how this channel happens. So if you want to help me out by giving a completely voluntary contribution to my channel, check out the link that's around me right now or in the description below. A uh, big shout out to the channel Smarter Every Day. They help me out a lot on Patreon, so if you haven't heard of them, check them out. I also have t-shirts for sale. These are available on my website, which are also in the link below. If you don't want to give me money, subscribe, bell, like, comment, any of that stuff. Alright, thanks so much, guys. Bye.